this is the main recording for the Pumper Pump Boxing Show. I'm here at the Landmark Hotel, joined alongside Sam Jones. How are you doing, mate? I'm um, excellent, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> so you've got a little mic there, obviously, uh, make do with what we've got. Obviously, I want to ask you, obviously, so we asked the press conference today, it was a bit fiery. You got uh, the Pumper's tackling a bit, rattled a bit. How do you think that went? I, I don't know. He, he looked a bit upset, didn't he? When like he was asking me why I filmed his sparring. Well, why not? It's like if someone wants to send me his sparring, I'm gonna watch it. Yeah. Obviously, uh, he, he didn't like that. He said to put about obviously Dev asked him a question. Has he got the power to? Yeah, yeah. He was more angry at Dev than he was at me. So I was all right to be fair. Yeah. Uh, yeah so obviously, I, I, I think Joe's looking good. Tremendous, tremendous. I'm always confident in Joe. He rises to the occasion and he's, I'm, I'm very confident he's going to get the job done on Saturday night. Listen, it could be inside the distance, it could go to points. Who knows, Takam's a tough guy, but I expect Joe to get the job done. Well, not actually, can you see Joe uh, stopping Takam in a better fashion than last of AJ and uh, Chisora? Well, AJ's was kind of controversial. Chisora's was a spectacular knockout, so it's, it's kind of, if it's anywhere in between that, then great. Uh, see Joe, you recently went to the Emirates Stadium, you went to Obviously, he had fantastic news that he's, not, he's now managing to fight out the winner of Joshua Usyk. Uh, Usyk. Yeah. Uh, how big news is that for you guys? Yeah, it's great. It's good motivation for Joe. Keeps him on his toes. And listen, Takam's got a, an amazing, oppo ama amazing, op amazing opportunity on Saturday. I want to ask you, obviously, another number of the number one fighters as well. Obviously, he had a bit of bad news with Florian Marku. Yeah, yeah. Florian rolled his ankle in sparring, so he's gonna, he had to have a couple of weeks out, rest his ankle, so he's going to be fit and ready. Luckily, it's not too serious, so he'll fight again in, in September against Pro Dan. Uh, Johnny Fisher's fighting on the August the 7th against Danny Whitaker at Fight Camp, yeah, so that's an exciting fight for, for Johnny. Any news on Lerone, Lerone Richard? Yeah, Lerone, um, the team's in talk with Matchroom at the moment to make a really big fight for Lerone. Hopefully, have some news in that in the next couple of weeks. And uh, Lisa, Lisa White's as well? Yeah, there's a promotional deal we've just agreed, so hopefully that gets announced next week and get Lisa rolling, and hopefully Lisa will win a world title in the next six months. Well, so you just signed uh, number one US uh, heavyweight. Yeah. Program recently. I, 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 was, I signed a huge item on board the United States Temple. Yeah, Darius Fulgham, yeah, superstar signing for us. Number one ranked heavyweight in the United States. Golden Gloves winner in 2018. He's going to box pro as a light heavyweight. He's very heavy handed, can hit with both hands. Unbelievable footwork. Can't wait to see him in, a, in the pro ring. Sam, before I let you go, obviously, have you got news for. You've got to take any big state for any boxing fans who watching Saturday night coming to Wembley, Wembley Arena and tuning in and watching live on BT School. Say again, sorry, mate. Have you got any, have any, have any that's anything to say for your fighters, your fans? No, I haven't personally got any fans, but thank you very much for buying a ticket to watch Joe on Saturday. It's, he, he, it's really, really appreciated spending the hard earned money coming out of the pandemic. Hopefully, it's going to be a special night. Thank you very much, Sam. All the best. Cheers, mate. Thank you.